Collier at the Blake School Highgraph Campus. We hope you are enjoying this new school year. My name is Emerson and this is Sophia and we are this year's anchors for this year's What's Cool in School Fall Edition. Every year is filled with lots of fun and gives us an opportunity to meet new teachers and new students. That's right, Sophia, and now we have a special interview from our reporters, Brooksley, Ashton, and Ava, interviewing our new teacher, kindergarten teacher assistant, Miss Wallach. Did you know this about Miss Wallach? Did you know she has a twin brother? Did you know she almost never wears matching socks? Did you know she once ran from Al Alcatraz from San to San Francisco? Stay tuned for our interview. Thanks for watching! Hello everyone, I'm Ava and today I am here with Ashton and Brooksley and we are interviewing new kindergarten assistant teacher Miss Wallach. Thanks for interviewing me today, fourth grade friends. Miss Wallach, since you are new to Blake, we have some questions for you. What is your favorite about part about teaching kindergarten so far? My favorite part of teaching kindergarten so far is I get to learn every single day with my kindergarten friends. Wow, that's so interesting. What did you do before you came to Blake? Before I came to Blake, I was a student at Luther College, and then I was a sub at Blake last year, so some people might already know me a little bit. Wow, I didn't know that. What is your favorite part about Blake so far? My favorite part of Blake so far is how many friends I have and how welcoming and kind everyone is. This so... Wallach, what are some of your favorite foods? Some of my favorite foods are chicken curry and fancy ramen noodles. Miss Wallach, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is charcoal gray. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a baby sloth. A baby sloth. A baby sloth or a baby giraffe. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Thank you for interviewing me today, fourth grade. Have a good year, Miss Wallach. Back to you, you ever since Sophia, Sophia in the, in the studio. studio. Thank you, Brixley, Ashton, and Abel for that report. Did you know that there are also new books in the library? Oh really, Sophia? I think we should go check some out. While we're doing that, here's a public service announcement from Ahamdi, Kira, and Ben about proper bathroom etiquette. Hello, welcome to your school bathroom. It's a very important place, and we're talking about bathroom behavior. Yes, bathroom behavior. It's important to all of us. That's right. Number one, everyone wants privacy, so don't peek under the stalls. Bathrooms have to be safe places. Number two, when you're finished using the toilet, make sure to flush because no one wants to see your business. Number three, when, you are, when you're done with the toilet and flush, make sure to wash your hands. Hey, Ahamdi, what's up? Wait, Ben, did you wash your hands? Oh, I forgot. You. You're supposed to wash your hands after you go. Go! When you're washing your hands, make sure to use warm water and soap. Rub the soap up through your hands and between your fingers. Make sure to use only the paper towels you need. Only four pumps. No, wait, three pumps. Otherwise, it will waste all our resources. And that's how you use the bathroom. And keep it clean for the next person. Have a good school year. Wow, I never knew so much about proper bathroom etiquette, but it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it is important. What else is important and important? After school activities. I've heard there's more after school activities than ever before. Let's go to our reporters, Kaisa, Izzy, and Matilda. Hello, we are reporting live from Blake School. Hi, I'm Matilda. Izzy and Kaisa and I will be talking to Mr. Sachs about after school activities. Hi, I'm Izzy. And I'm Kaisa. And we'll find out together if there are any new after school activities. 
Let's go talk to Mr. Sachs now. Yeah, let's go. Hello, Mr. Sachs. We'd like to ask you some questions. First up, how did you become in charge of after school activities? Uh, well, a few years ago, uh, they were hiring a brand new lower school coordinator. And it was something that I was interested in because I love working with all of our really awesome TAs that we have at school. Um, and I thought it would be really fun to also work with after school programs and extended day and all those things. So I applied and Miss Bellin and Dr. Yu liked me enough and gave me the job. <laughs> Are there any new after school activities this year? Uh, Miss Quinn sometimes runs some different kinds of art clubs that she maybe hasn't done in the past. Um, but other than that, we have a lot of really awesome activities that we've done in past years that are going to be coming up. Like later this year, we'll have yoga, we have chess, we have tech tank, uh, and uh, of course, Miss Snyder has her arty party club that she does as well, and we hope to hopefully bring in some other ones as well later this year. Sounds great. How did you get interested in getting a job at the Highcroft campus? I got interested because I thought that this would be a really fun position. I had worked at the other campus for a very long time. Uh, and I thought it would be more fun to get to know even more students and work with a whole bunch of wonderful people as well. Do you have any kids and do they come to Blake? I do not have kids, so they do not come to Blake. <laughs> but I would send them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite after school activity? That's like asking me to choose which imaginary child I love most. <laughs> Uh, I think they're all really wonderful and fabulous. I think that the art clubs that we run do some really cool things. Uh, and I think Mr. Quinn does some really unique outdoor clubs that uh, I, I find fascinating and really cool. Now back to you, Anchors. Thanks, thanks for talking to us, Mr. Sachs. Well, thank you. See you next time, Lake School. Bye! Thank you, reporters. Wow, I learned so much about after school activities. Hey, Sophia, do you know what the weather's like from recess today? Um, no, but let's check in with the weather people, Connor and Quinn. Hello, everyone. Here we are at the Blake Highground Campus with the Fall Weather Report. I'm Quinn. And I'm Connor. Anyone up for a swim? Uh-oh. Connor, we're in the wrong clothes. It's not summer or even spring. Wait one second. We will be right back. We're in the wrong season. And now for the weather report. Wait, you've got to be kidding me. We did it again. These are the wrong clothes. And the wrong season. We'll be right back. Here we go. These are the proper clothes to wear in the fall. You should probably be expecting weather changes. From hot to cold to rainy to dry, always keep a sweatshirt close by. Good idea, Connor. A sweatshirt always keeps you comfortable, no matter what activities you're doing outside in the fall. Uh-oh, I think it's about to rain, Quinn. Do you feel anything? Not again. Thanks for watching, everyone. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Connor and Quinn, for the fascinating weather report. And thank you all for watching this year's What's Cool in School Fall Edition. And remember, next, next time, time it might be you on camera! camera.